Drivers behind the line. And in three, two, one, go! Starting qualification match number 49. Cubes already flying in the air as they fall securely in the hybrid zone of the red community. Team 8570 up on their charge station, fully engaged, scoring a nice sum of points for the Red Alliance. Coming out of the autonomous period, the score is 36 to 6 in favor of Red, as Blue will attempt to make up the gap during the rest of the match. Team 5123 looking to pick up a cube from the center of the field so they can bring it back towards their community. Meanwhile, on the red side of the field, Team 2265, the Iron Maiden, with a, cute, uh, with a cone in their possession, looking to score it onto an upper nose. On the Blue Alliance, Team 5123, successfully picking up the cone, brings it over to their community, and it looks like they're scoring it into a, snugly into a hybrid zone. Their alliance partner, Team 2869, attempting to maneuver over the charge station to try to score the cube in their possession. And up goes their arm, lifting up the cube to try to score it into one of the upper nodes. On the Red Alliance, Team 8570 with a cube in their possession, looking to launch it, pop it goes up onto the upper node of the Red Alliance's grid. That will be completing one link for the Red Alliance that will result in five additional points being scored for the Red Alliance. In the red loading station, it looks like the, the Iron Maidens have lost their signal. Let's see if they can get going in the remaining 30 seconds of the match. That whistle signals the beginning of the end game period, where robots navigate over to their charge stations in attempt to climb and balance to earn points. On the Blue Alliance 5123, looking to climb up onto the charge station, as does their alliance partner, Team 335. On the Blue, on the Red, 8570, already up on the station, look, seems like they're pushing off their partner, who was nestled on the edge of the charge station. The win with a score of 64 to 24.